This is the EAA ammonia analyzer from Los Gatos Research. It's one of a very wide range of analyzers from Los Gatos. It uses off-axis ICOS, which is the fourth generation of cavity ring down spectroscopy. Well, it sounds complicated, but really it's complicated in name only. And it's based on laser absorption. So it's a direct reading instrument. In this case, we're measuring ammonia and the laser is tuned to the absorption of ammonia molecules. And the instrument is measuring very, very quickly um, and it's measuring very, very precisely. It's extremely easy to use and that's one of its major advantages. Essentially, the instrument can be taken into the field or taken into a laboratory. Uh, we quickly make the uh, connections for our sample line, we switch the instrument on. It takes around two minutes to, uh, to warm up and uh, essentially, once it's warmed up, we start taking measurements. It's as simple as that. This instrument is using a uh, laser absorption technology and the, the gas is introduced into the analyzer uh, very quickly and the laser actually measures this uh, absorption very very quickly so the main benefit of this instrument is that it's uh, there, are, there are no external converters or catalysts or other wetted surfaces um, to react with the ammonia and to and to stop the ammonia getting to the measurement cell so Essentially, we switch the instrument on, the pump is pulling through the sample gas very quickly, the ammonia gets measured very, very quickly, and we have a much higher degree of confidence in the measurement. The main applications would be um, atmospheric chemistry, um, air quality monitoring, particularly where we're looking to measure ammonia, in uh, towns and cities. Another large application for ammonia monitoring is uh, agriculture, um, particularly agricultural research. Ammonia is used uh, on a very widespread basis um, in agriculture and uh, an instrument like this lends itself very, very well for measuring um, ammonia levels uh, in all manner of different agricultural scenarios.